Today is May 19th, 2023. And this is video number two for today, since tomorrow's Saturday and I'm gonna rest. In this video, I'm going to talk about giving. So, if you've ever seen prosperity preachers talk about giving, there's some truth to it, but they've got it backwards. So prosperity preachers will come in and they'll, they'll say, you need to give this much money because if you give this much money, then you'll be blessed and God will return the favor to you. So keep giving tons of money, especially to our organization, so that you can be blessed. And there's some truth to that. God can't be outgiven. So he will always provide. But again, I think that they've got it backwards. And here's what I mean. I think our giving is actually an overflow in thanksgiving for all that we've already received. So the other day I, I felt prompted to give to someone. And the thing that prompted me to give was realizing how blessed I am. How much God has done for me already. It's like he's provided so much to me already that I, I can't help but give to someone else too. And so that's where I think prosperity preachers get it backwards. They say, give and then you'll be blessed. When it's supposed to be, you're blessed so you give out of thanksgiving for all of that blessing. And yes, when you give, oftentimes God does give back to you even more. So there is that aspect to it. But it should always be out of this overflow of thanksgiving for all that God has already done for us. And I think this is the same sort of dilemma with faith and works that gets debated about within the church so much. Some people say you need both faith and works. Other people say it's just faith alone. And sometimes there's this um, idea that it's just semantics. But I think it's this idea of reversal of roles again. So people that say that it should be faith and works often say that works are necessary for salvation. And in a way, that's kind of true. But I think it's putting the cart before the horse. Works, again, just like giving, should flow out of a thanksgiving for what God has done through us, through saving us, through faith. So God saves us by his grace. And out of thanksgiving for that, then we end up doing works because we can't help do what God wants us to do, what's pleasing to him, because we've been saved by faith. It's not that you do the works and that saves you. No, you, you have faith, and because you have faith, then you do the works. It's, and it matters what order that happens in. Because if you think it's works first, then you're relying on yourself for salvation and not really relying on God. So all of these things, all, all that we do, our actions, should flow out of faith and out of thanksgiving. So any type of works we do 
should be because we have faith, not in order to save ourselves or in order to get something. And anything we give should be out of thanksgiving from all that we've already received. Because God has blessed us abundantly. I know he's blessed me abundantly. And so if I give, it's not so that God will give something back to me because he's already given enough. He's given more than enough. And so out of thanksgiving, I want to give. So I hope that's helpful. That's all I've got for today. Peace.